at Silverstone for races 10 and 11 of the Red Bull MotoGP Rookies Cup for 2013. Once more in pole position, Carol Hanecker. His qualifying has been absolutely superb this year. Really not so bad from the, from the beginning of the session. I was in front and uh, I rode uh, really good lap times. But then I wasn't really happy with my suspension, so I uh, went to the pits to to better set up, and I think we did a very good a very good step forward. And uh, for the race, I think we can do one more step. But now it's really good. I uh, got another pole, so it's fine. Hanneke is leading the points table by 51, an incredible margin. But so important to him was his home victory. He loved it. Just a single race at his home Grand Prix. This weekend it's back to the two as usual. Here's the first of them. It's down to the grid. 14 laps, a beautiful afternoon, and we're in for another sensational Rookies Cup race. As the lights go out and Hanneke gets it rolling very well. See Pagliani gets moving off the second row very well as well. But it's Jorge Martin that leads now. Juan Mir up into second, second place. Carol Hanneke in third. Then it's Ramirez and Pagliani. Ramirez goes inside Pagliani. Number 24 machine of Ramirez up into fourth place. Fastest lap from Joe Roberts. Well, he's a lap record holder at uh, Bruno and he's uh, doing a great job of uh, here. Bradley Ray's broken down number 28, the British rider. Or has he been off? Or is that a scuff on his fairing? Hanneker in second place. Roberts up into third. Daru into fourth suddenly. There's Scott Daru, a storming ride from the Dutchman, right from, as I say, the fifth row of the grid. And Roberts it is that leads now. Hanneker in second place. Jorge Mar and Roberts goes down, just slid out. Hanneker still has the advantage, but he's got Jorge Martin right on his tail now. He dives across, covers the inside line. Oh, and they go down and, there's, and uh, run into the back. Jorge Martin is knocked off really by Scott Daru. It was so hard. There was all trying to go for the same bit of road. But surely Hanneker's going to win this. He does. Yes. Carol Hanneker wins yet again from Diego Perez, from Marcos Ramirez. Enia Bastianini comes through to take fourth ahead of Juan Mir. Sushi Miharia, Manuel Pagliani. Really crazy uh, from the beginning. The feeling of the bike wasn't very good, so uh, at the half of the race, I decided to ride second or third behind somebody because. For me, it wasn't possible to go away from the other guys. So, yeah, I rode behind uh, Manuel or behind Jorge. And in the last lap, I passed the pass uh, uh, in the first corner and I hold it to the end. So, for me, another great victory and a good leading in a championship. We love close racing. We love drama and excitement. But at this race at Silverstone, there was a little bit too much drama and excitement and too many crashes. Thankfully, all 23 guys avoided serious injury. So they're all on the grid, and let's see if we can top yesterday's excitement. 14 laps, and away they go. All the front men get a good start, and I think Marcos Ramirez did well off the second row. Ramirez comes down the inside, but it's Bradley Ray. Around the outside comes Pagliani and Hanneke. And there's a faller there. That is uh, num the number six machine of Corentin Perilari, the Frenchman. And Joe Roberts comes up the inside. Joe Roberts there, storming through just as he did yesterday. Joe Roberts it is that picks up the lead. And uh, he slid off yesterday. He's obviously learned from that, hopefully. Two laps remaining in the race two at the Red Bull MotoGP Rookies Cup at Silverstone. So determined, of course, is Jorge Martini doesn't want to lose the cup to Hanneke here. It's going to try and make it play all the way to the end of the season, but he's got his work cut out, obviously. As they break very late. Hanneke has second. Perez is round the outside, but it's to rule with the advantage. Hanneke in second place. Hanneke comes inside, and down they go. And this is just the only thing that could have kept the cup from Carol Hanneke. He's crashed out. He's going to lose points to to uh, Jorge Martin. And another faller, it's to Ro Roberts that goes down, as does Jorge Martin. So it, this could still be Hanneke. He's got to pick the bike up. He's got to pick up a couple of points. It's Scott Daru who's going to win. Scott Daru will win the British round. Scott Daru crosses the line to win. I think it's uh, Juan Mir will pick up second place. 
It is Mia from Ramirez Pagliani Manzi. Now the question is, who can pick up their motorcycle? Can Jorge Martin pick up a couple of points? Is he going to pick up 12th and just enough points? He does. Jorge Martin picks up just enough points to keep the cup challenge alive. There is a distraught Carol Haneke. And he could have been walking away from here. <laughs> last lap I passed some riders and passed Hanika and then I was first they tried to to uh, to pass me again but then they make some strange things and Hanika crash and uh, I win